Hello and welcome to Guided Meditation, the loser's guide to finding deep, lasting inner peace and connection to the source of all consciousness. I invite you to sit down in the lotus position if you can do it, or you can sit in a chair. The posture you want to have is with your back straight, hands out, palms up. Just relax, keep your back straight. You want to feel like a string is pulling your head through your spine and through the top of your head, just pulling you up, dangling you, just dangling you like a little marionette. You just want to feel like the fingers of God are just pulling you up and just like you're just suspended there just blowing in a little very subtle light breeze. Start by taking some deep breaths. Just breathe in. Hold it. Just let it out. Breathing in life, energy, love, inspiration. Breathing out self-doubt, negativity, negative self-talk. Breathing in confidence, breathing in calm serenity. Breathing out fear, judgment, negative self-talk. Blow it away, blow it away. Just feel how relaxed you feel just by doing that, just by taking a few deep breaths. And just kind of let the string just pull through the bottom of your spine all the way up through your vertebrae, all the way up your spinal column, all the way through your neck, all the way up through your brain, out the top of your head, just, just blowing out the top of your head, just a string, just shooting up into heaven up into God's fingers. I just want you to close your eyes. You should have been having your eyes closed the whole time. Forgot to mention that, but I thought it was pretty obvious. But you should have your eyes closed. Eyes closed. Close them. I just want you to try to not cling on to any thoughts. Just listen to the sound of my voice. Just let all your own thoughts go away. All the thoughts from throughout the day, the people you talk to, you know, thoughts of your past, thoughts of the future, what you're going to do tomorrow, who you're going to talk to tomorrow, who's going to be at work that you hate. Just let those just turn into little clouds and let them just drift through the sky. Just analyze them, look at like that's the kind of stuff I think. What a loser. Wow. That's that's the kind of thoughts that a little unenlightened little nothing being thinks about. Taking this beautiful gift that we have here on this planet, this life that we have this chance to experience a human body here and play on this planet and to just waste it, waste it with your petty little thoughts and your little hatreds and your little egotistical little nothingness and your little body, your little nothing little body that you look in the mirror at and wish that you could have pecs, that little rotting thing that just sits in the ground now, no one even thinks about you anymore. A hundred years from now, you will have be forgotten completely. Your life just disappeared like a fart. Just knowing that there's nothing to accomplish, nothing to be done, that you're perfect just here in this moment right now. There never was a you in the past and there, you won't even exist in the future. All you have is this moment right now to feel life, to feel your body, to feel this moment, this unbelievable moment. What did you do to deserve this chance to have a human body here on a planet, a beautiful planet? It's amazing that you're even alive at all. How dare you 
mope around this world. How dare you feel sad for yourself? How dare you, you f to selfishness, the unbelievable selfishness of you, the arrogance to think that you deserve more when you've been given this incredible window of consciousness to experience a life, to be in a body, to make love, to, to hug a friend, to hug a family member, to feel the wind blow across your face, to see a sunrise, and you have the nerve to bitch and complain every single day. You should look in the mirror and spit on your own reflection, you ungrateful, worthless slob. But right now, I just want you to feel that moment. Feel the moment, even though you are ungrateful, even though you have so many flaws, so much needs to change about you. Right now, in this moment, you are still alive. You are still feeling life. You still feel the heart beating within your chest. And that's beautiful. And that's unbelievably beautiful. This moment is all you have. There is no future, there is no past, there is no beginning and there is no end. Your consciousness goes on forever. It has always been and it always will be. You are God. Everything is God. God is just the consciousness that flows through every living being. Everything, every particle of matter has an intelligence to it, has a life. That is God. You are part of that. You might not think it. Other people might look at you and say, uh, you're not God, Gary. You're a fat fucking slob who doesn't have a job and complains all the time. But you tell them that, you know what? Fuck you, motherfucker. I'm God, and so are you, and so is that bitch over there. You know, get angry. You know, people need to know. You are God. You are God. You are God. You're God. You are God. Everything about you is beautiful. Everything about you is light, love, harmony. It's just your thinking that gets in the way. Your thinking acts as an obstruction to your joy, your harmony, your enthusiasm for life. What you've been taught to think about yourself. What people have told you to think about the world. That's what's blocking you from really experiencing the unbelievable joy and power that a true unobstructed connection to the source of life and consciousness can bring you. Thank you for tuning in or watching or clicking whatever we do these days. And I want to invite you to check out some of my other videos. And I hope and wish you very well. I, I hope you're able to find connection. Find that connection. Search for connection.